Hi, it's Luan from Google Tech and happy to see you again. Now let's try my new collapsible saw. This doesn't work. So how about this one? Wow, it's nice, right? I finally could print this uh, beautiful model after so many mistakes with this one and I will tell you right away so you don't have the same problem. Let's go! Just right after a quick look at the sponsor of this video, PCBWay. It's a one-stop solution for all manufacturing needs from PCB making to CNC machining. All you have to do here is upload your files and you will get an instant code. They have so many choices about material or manufacturing methods that for sure will fulfill what you need for your project. I printed this first model with a lot of mistakes. And first of all, I added a brim around it to keep everything in place. But the bad thing is that the brim is also adding here. It's of this part because they are printed in place. They are not one object. So they also have rim here and then and connect the whole surface together and I have to sand them down. I had to sand them down like this. As you can see, I did sand a lot and I do have hope that this thing could come out but no. There's another problem is that uh, the seam is here unconnected. This is because the people who asked me to print this model he didn't send me the, the link of the model itself, which is this one. He didn't send me it. He just download the model and send me. So there's no instruction uh, with this. So I thought I could print it and actually I did, I did print it. So the problem is that the seam setting is not correct as you can see here. This P I printed in, in Kura. Uh, with Kura slicer and uh, Ender tree marks, there's the seam here. If you have the correct setting, the seam will not touch each other, and then it will come out fine, even though it has a seam. But I didn't know about it, so what I do is that I print it with normal seam setting, and you see all the seam connected here exactly like what you see here. So no plus. They couldn't come out, they stick it here and uh, no matter how much you cut it, it's still deep under here with all the cutting and it completely a block like that. So you cannot take it out. It's a failure, failure, failure. So if you read on the model, uh, it have the whole page just talking about those settings that you need to change or you need to modify before you can print it, including a test print. To make sure that all of the plates will be detachable, doesn't touch on each other. I didn't do that. So if you want to do that, he has something that they call setting in negative extra restart. And for, this for red wrap like and the kind of thing. And for Prusa, you can use cost and wipe setting. There's a link of Reddit that talk about that. So kind of doing the same thing that Kura does with Prusa. The thing is I don't have time to try for this uh, model anymore because the people they want this earlier. So I ended up patch for this model with the same uh, designer. What he did is that he making the ending is a format that you can open it so you can print it all of the plants separately and put them together. Like this. Here, this is the pommel you can, it's a thread, you can remove it, and then on the plate will come out. The good thing of this method is that not only you can print the plate separately, but also you can print it in vase mode, which save the thing. You know, with vase mode setting, you don't have any uh, seam. Because it's a continuity printing uh, bottom to top like this. You just need to pay attention for the setting. Oh, this time I do pay attention. So you see here, this is the model that I bought and this model here. But when you go to print setting, 
apart from the spiral vase mode here you already activate uh, bottom and top you should put to zero also because you want want to go to into the other side right and the the other important thing is in the advanced mode you don't want this thing this wall to become 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 only the, the, the default it is 0 0.5 you want it thicker so you can make it here i put it 0 0.9 and it's work out well so that is the settings that you need to change in uh, in the slicer to get a beautiful print out like this i have all the problems with this one too as you can see here i will show you right away you see this tip compared to this one and this one This is already mentioned by the by the guys, uh, the designer. The happen is that I have my Prusa fan, nozzle fan is like this, and the piece is like this. So the three, the first three, eh, they get enough cooling for them to conduct and settle well, while the back is still hot, while the other coming in, so it make a very uh, make a deformation. It it not a straight and beautiful one. So to do that. You get to put it very, very um, slow printing at the top. Also, I adjust it a little bit like this. Instead of like this, the beginning is was like this. So this is completely didn't get any fun. But if you turn it a little bit, it, they all have a little fun for it. So it have time to cool down up. Plus, you're going to bring it super slow. So this part come out really well. The last thing that I noticed with Prusa slicer and the no sorry with Prusa printer and the Ender Max 3 is that the Prusa even though the same material uh, printing more or less at the same time it get much glossier compared to this one that printed by Ender 3 and this comes from the printing temperatures with the Ender Max 3 the printing temperature is 200 degree while Prusa have 210. That 10 degree give you a glossier surface finish at the end. So if you want glossier, try to increase the temperatures to the level that you want here. Anyway, uh, it's just some notice that I, I found. I think it would be useful for you when you print. Of course, you can always try to print everything in place. You have the instruction here and also the other instruction here for you to do the costing. But of course, you need to spend time to do uh, the test prints and everything. Otherwise, if you want to make your life easier, <laughs> you can uh, also have the designer. You can pay for his model here and print it right away. So make less challenge for your life. I mean, I personally, if I have time, I would go with the everything in print in place. That's a new thing and, and you will learn stuff over it. But depend on your time and depend on your printer or whatever, you could choose to pay for the model. It's both good. Whatever I say, you learn something new. So um, that's all I learned during printing this amazing saw design. Uh, I hope it's useful for you in printing in general. Of course, you're not going to print this kind of uh, collapsible saw every day. But it's, it's still good to learn, you know, like about the seam adjustment and everything. Maybe one day you will need it. I hope you like the video. And if it's useful for you, please subscribe to my channel so we can see the next time. Happy making.